morning all we'll begin today's session now thank you uh, so much this is the first question for the day what is written here is which there are different types of pineapples which are there in the given figure what you have to find is how many pineapples appear only once so in this case the pineapples which appear only once are this and this this pineapple here and then this pineapple here these two are the ones which are appearing only once hence for the correct answer is of number two two pineapples is the same thing shown here you are given two transparent discs one and two with markings on them which of the option can be created by overlapping or rotating them in this kind of question instead of jumping like we normally follow instead of jumping directly into the options figure what we should first do is we should first take elements what elements will i take circle is a little bit difficult to track because its edges it does not have any edges so i will first take a triangle which is which has three edges and then i will look at the orientation of the triangle with reference to the cross which is happening here what is shown is a red colored cross has in one of the quadrant of the red color cross the triangle is is face i mean the edge of the triangle is facing the uh, center of the cross where is that happening in option a the red color cross is happening here and then the edge is facing a is still point concentration with b this is the cross and iska jo edge uh, vertice hai wo face ho raha so b is wrong with c this is the cross and the edge is facing so c is also in concentration then with d ye edge hai and then this is where the red cross happens which is not in alignment so d is wrong between a and c i will then also look at the other options which are act with other elements like the hexagon the square and the circle which are actually in place so in this case both a and c are the correct answers a pencil with a pentagonal cross section was sharpened using a pencil sharpener which of the options correctly represents the side view of the pencil which of the option correctly represents the side view of the pencil is what is asked if you observe the options very carefully we are getting actually two three conditions sorry one is this condition second is this condition and third is this condition d may be the same condition what b has so either the or option has to be a c b and d ye teen options ki possibility hai to be correct why because a is different c is different and b and d are practically the same because dono ka same hi hai sirf uska view alag hai d samne se liya hua hai that's all is different okay so when you sharpen a pencil if you observe very carefully the edges are always the one which gets sharpened first which means the edges jahan pe bhi aapki edges honge wahan pe wo line choti hogi versus jo edge wala jo uh, surface wala part hai that will be of a higher dimension when you cut it out when you cut a pencil so that's where we are looking for the options where this condition is happening this condition is happening in b and d so a and c are wrong and b and d are the ones which are correct a paper strip with different color on each side is joined as shown in the figure if this strip is cut along the dashed line this dashed line which options correctly represents the results when i cut in this case when i look at the options together a is the one jaha pe strip ke dono side both the sides of the strip are of the same color how if you look at this strip ek side green hai yahan pe ye piche wala side bhi green same is the case with pink this is pink iske piche wala jo part yahan pe dikh raha hai wo bhi pink hai so a is clearly the one which is the wrong option between b c and d now when i cut this strip along this part the dotted line what will happen is i'll get two strips but then they will be they won't be separated from each other they will be in a knot formation with each other like we are seeing in option c 
एंड इन ऑप्शन हियर इन ऑप्शन सी एंड इन ऑप्शन डी बी में वो जो बीच वाला पार्ट है जस्ट केप्ट वन अबाउट अदर सो बी इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड सी एंड डी आर द वन व्हिच विल बी चोजन सी एंड डी दे बोथ आल्सो सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन वेयर द स्ट्रिप इज वन पिंक एंड वन ग्रीन वो दोनों साइड इट्स गेटिंग सेटिस्फाई of the option uh, option shows a pair of so each of the option shows a pair of two different pieces that are there of in this part which of the options cannot be cut out from the given figure cannot be cut out diya hai so in this case i am a first highlighted option a and c first a ka ye wala jo part hai aapka this part happens here one part happens here the second part of a which is this happens here this is the second part of a the c ka ye wala jo part hai third part three numbered part is happening here aur c ka ye wala jo part hai which is four number part is happening here so a and c are possible so we are leaving that out between b and d when you look at it b ka ye wala jo part hai aapka part 1 is happening here Which means that इतना पार्ट आपका व्हाइट होना चाहिए व्हाइट स्पेस होना चाहिए जो बाहर की तरफ आ रहा है सो इतना पार्ट आपका व्हाइट स्पेस होना चाहिए सो बी इज द वन विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल और डी में ये वाला यू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस पार्ट दिस पार्ट इज है लाइन आर नॉट अलाइन दोनों का हाइट में वेरिएशन है दोनों की लाइन का ये वाला लाइन का वेरिएशन लाइन रेफरेंस लाइन ये है और ऊपर वाली जो लाइन है उसका रेफरेंस लाइन ये है they are not aligned how d is how it is shown here so d is also the one which is not a part of the cut out so b and d are the both both the ones which are not there shown below is an image that represents how cups should be stacked on top of one on top of each other in a stable man among the given different types of cup which of the cups cannot stack itself cannot stack itself in a stable manner is what is asked now when i look when i observe the stacking position this is how it should happen aapka ye jo base of the cup hai when i extend that line outside it happens somewhere here what it means is it one can stack the cups only when this base sorry only when this base which is happening here is able to fit clearly inside this mouth of the cup only then the stacking is possible with that principle in mind when i observe option a very carefully and i just try to extend these lines out of course they will fit in that's not a problem but the problem happens here when after fitting in here the, the lines are just jutting out so a may the lines will be actually the cup will be actually placed like this which is not a stacking position with b if i just extend these lines outside here and here what you will see is the stacking happens like this i'm not stacking but the when cups are placed on top of each other they happen like this so b is also the one where stacking is not possible they are just kept one above the other with case of c also the same thing is happening where when i extend that line outside and i extend this line outside it actually happens somewhere here so c is also one of the case where stacking is not possible with case of d the stacking is possible why because the stacking happens here like this and then the mouth fits in here so d is the only one which is stackable and a b and c are the ones which cannot be stacked so the correct answer is a b and c in the image shown below objects have been duplicated and rotated 
which objects is or are not arranged around a perfect circle. So this is how the circular arrangement happens. In this case, A is fine. The, these two circles, elliptical ones, they are fine. They are all in the same alignment. There is no problem here. With case of B also, this part is actually fine. They are not in any kind of a misalignment. With case of option C, the misalignment happens here. In this part. So C is the one which is not, which cannot be formed in a perfect circle. Besides C, in case of option D also, the misalignment kind of happens here. And also here. So C and D are the ones which cannot be arranged in a perfect circle. Here, you are given figure 2 and 3 are derived from figure 1 by overlapping some of the options uh, one at a time. If your flipping and rotations are allowed, which option will allow you to derive figure 2 and 3? Which option when you overlap on figure 1 will allow you to get 2 and 3? Flipping and rotation is possible. Here, before jumping into the question figure, when I just observe the options and compare each other very carefully, I'm just going to first highlight the hexagon, okay? If you observe this hexagon very carefully, A, B, or C ka hexagon uh, and the attachments to it are actually the same. A, B, or C. How? Look at this. One Y, one side Y. Uske dono side, we have one line like this, like this. Then one Y, one Y happening here and here. And then this weird shape which happens. So A, B and C are actually the same figures. Flipping is possible. So we have not worried about the mirror part. Mirror part will be an accepted answer here. D is the one discussed. Charo ke charo edges are same. But there is only one thing which is different is there is a line here on all the sides, on all the six sides. So either my answer is A, B, or C, or only D. Why? Because A, B, and C are the same, and D is the only one which is different. That's why. Now, I just have to find whether it is A, B, and C, or D. Does the hexagon has line on all six points, or it does, it does not have point line in one, one side, like it is seen in A, B, and C? When I draw that hexagon here, in two number thing or even three number, I'll draw it again in three also. It happens here like this. In which case, all the edges are occupied except for one vertice here, except for one vertice here. What it means is, in this case, option D is wrong where all the six points are engaged with some line and A, B, and C are the correct answers. P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V are these living in separate cells of 2D hive made of hexagonal cells. T and V are neighbors of E. I'll just draw, I just keep drawing the arrangements, okay? T and V are neighbors of P. R and S are neighbors of U. V does not share a wall with T, U and R. V does not share a wall with T, U and R. Q being the queen is in the center. So I know she shares a wall and she has to be in the center. But what will happen on all the other sides? When I just place this orientation like this, P, T, U, sorry, P, T, V, sorry, and U, R, and S, 
this last condition which is given u does not share a wall with t u and r t u and r happens here and v does not share a wall with all of them is also getting satisfied and we are also getting satisfied with the other conditions which are provided and q is of course happening in the center in which case this is the correct position this is the correct uh, arrangement of the uh, beehive and and then i'll just go from option by option by option and check which is correct and which is not s and v are neighbors yes s and v are neighbors and they do share a wall so a is correct r and t are neighbors r and t are neighbors and they do also share a wall that is also correct p and u share a wall no they don't share a wall because they are opposite to each other so c is wrong and s and t are not neighbors s and t are not neighbors because they are opposite to each other that is also correct so in this case a b and d are all correct which option will replace the question mark is what is asked so in this case uh, if you look at the option the there's some sequence basically happening from one, two, three, and four position, we have to find what will come in the fifth position. In this case, it is instead of getting confused with how the overall arrangement is shifting, it is better to take one thing at a time. Like for example, I will first take up these three dots. Yea, these three dots in the second figure come here. In the third figure, they come here. In the fourth figure, they come here, and henceforth in the fifth figure, they have to come somewhere in this quadrant. The part in the options, where is that happening? In A, it happens here, and B, it happens here, and C, it happens here, and D, it happens here. So B and C are wrong. A and D are still in the going. Between A and D, then I will choose a part which is different. I will look at just these two parts, which whose positions are very different. So when I just take those two parts, the two dots, the two brown dots are happening here in first. They are shifting slightly, like you know, a little bit here, like just push of one dot. They're shifting slightly in this position, but then yes, they are moving in this direction. They're again shifting slightly, again shifting slightly, which means that in this position, this and this has to be their position, which is seen how it is there in option A and not in option D. So A is the one which is correct. A paper strip is rolled and then cut into two planes at 45 degree as shown below. The middle part of the cut paper is unrolled. Which of the option represents this part? Here, this is the angle at which it is cut. So when I unroll, when I just draw the line of that cut line, it will be happening somewhere like this. When I draw just try to project that same line here on this plane also. It will happen somewhere like this. If I just connect, make this connection and this connection, the starting and the ending widths are practically going to be the same. Where is that happening? Similar, I'm not going to say telling exactly the same. Of course, the ending width is going to be slightly smaller, but then they're roughly the same. Now, in this case, option B is the one which is practically not possible because it has crooked lines. Between D, A, uh, C and D, we are still look, going to look at the widths now. Now, what to have about the widths? When I start from this part here, I'm just going to highlight it with different color here. After that, when I unroll the second part and I travel so much distance, this is where the widths become maximum. Where is that happening? So I start from here and then I cover certain distance, which is the curve, and then that is where I get the maximum width. I start from this part, I cover the maximum, but then that's not the maximum. That is like similar line ha distance happening everywhere. So D is not possible. Between A and C, this condition is getting satisfied where I start from a similar, from an X dimension, and then I achieve the maximum height after covering one curve is happening in C, but in case of A, it is not happening. It becomes the shortest here. So A is not possible. C is the one which is correct.
a phrase is shown below uses a particular form which of the option belongs to the same font family which of these options belongs to the same font family so in this case i have in case this is a case of font so i will just look at these edges first this edges first amma when i compare the edges together c is the one which has this kind of a curved edge which is not possible so c is wrong a b and d are still in running now in a there is a very weird thing happening where the curved lines are meeting at a corner curved lines meeting at a corner is not there in this font family it's a very smooth font that way so a is not possible between b and d the matra this matra is the one which is little bit different and i will look at this part this i won't look at it because this looks like a one letter itself versus this looks more like an additional attachment so what it means is the matra has to have a standing position and not a horizontal line so b is also wrong and d is the one which will be chosen asta is sailing a paper boat in still water which of the given option represents the reflection correctly you have to find the option where the reflection is correct in this case if you observe the uh, the question figure very carefully you'll find that there are two kind of orientation seen one is orientation of how a and c are happening here and how b and d are happening here dono ka orientation different hai in this case it has to be a going a and c are wrong why because the angle is different इसका एंगल टिल्टेड है सॉरी uh, uh, जो क्वेश्चन फिगर है उसका एंगल टिल्टेड है वर्सेस द रिफ्लेक्शन में जो सेंटर लाइन है वो सीधा है व्हाट इट मींस इज वी आर गोइंग टू गो विद द टिल्टेड वन एज सीन इन बी एंड डी बिट वेन आई कंपेयर बी एंड डी टुगेदर वन थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी पक्यूलर हैपनिंग इन डी इज वेयर द आईज आर गोइंग अपवर्ड if the i if the lady is looking if if the reflection shows an eyelid going upward which means the person is looking at the sky versus in this in the question figure the lady is looking at the paper boat she is not looking at the sky so d is the one which will be wrong and b is the one which will be chosen an illustration of an ant of a walking ant and a pair of glasses is lying on a uh, and a pair of glasses are lying on a table shown below which is the correct illustration from the ant's point of view from the ant's point of view which is the correct illustration if you look at the question figure very carefully the ant's orientation and the orientation of the handles are practically in alignment they are quite in alignment and वॉट इट मीन्स इज कि ये वाला जो हैंडल है वो आपको बहुत छोटा दिखेगा या कम दिखेगा इट वॉट बी हाउ इट इज सीन एन ऑप्शन बी और इवन एन ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन सी में जो दिया है वो ऐसा पोजिशन है ऑप्शन बी में जो दिया है पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज एक्चुअली वेरी डिफरेंट इट हैज टू बी समेयर लाइक दिस सो सी बी एंड बी इज रॉन्ग सी इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग बिटवीन ए एंड डी देर इज अ वेरी माइन्यूट डिफरेंस लेट मी यूज इज इज दिस पार्ट या between a and d there is very minute difference that is this much part this is different if the handle and the base of the chash of the eye glasses if either they are uh either the handle is slightly above the ground and the base or either they are in a line they can, they are it does not happen that the base of the glasses does not touch the ground in case of d the base of the glasses is touching the ground versus the handle is going be beyond that below that also so d is wrong and a is the one which will be chosen here you are given coding based question what is the coding based question is there is a weird word which is formed rasoglitive which means wood board Fraso plots means body study, glitter dressy means food wood, and dresso wools means digital screen. Which word represents screen size of the options below? In this case, I will literally try to decode what the word what word is associated with what part. 
So dresso glitter means wood board. So either wood means dresso and glitter means board, either of them. But wood is also happening in this part. Yahan pe bhi wood aa raha hai. Which, uh, which of the part dresso or glitter is happening in this word is glitter, which means wood represents glitter. What it means is if there is two parts to it, if there is part A and part B, I'm just writing here, glitter and dressy. This is part A and part B of a coded word. And then its coded word is wood, food word, sorry. What it means is glitter, which is happening in the front, will be at the back. And food, which is happening in the front, will be in the back here, in the question figure. Dressy, which is happening in the back, will be kept in the coded word food, in which comes in the front. It means uh, I have to interchange the position. So in the last word, where screen is happening in the word, at the end, Dresso will have to come at the starting, which means screen represents dresso. The word associated with screen has to come in the front, which is dresso, which means screen represents dresso. Now, screen size means screen happens in the front, which means dresso has to come at the back. And then some word has to come in the front. The question in the amongst the option figure A and B are therefore wrong. And between C and D, I will just compare and look at what is the front word. We don't have a word for size here. That's why. Isaac and Dreso. Now, Dreso is happening here. This is the part where Dreso is happening, which means Dreso represents board. And therefore, D is also wrong. And C is the one which is the correct one. And size ka coded word will be I6. Thank you so much. We'll end today's session with this.